Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the living Jesus. Hallelujah. And say happy Sunday to every one of you. Happy new month as well. Amen. We thank God for bringing us to his presence this morning, the yes. resurrection morning. Yes. And we want to thank God because you and I were able to cross over to the new month. This morning as we begin the program, I want us to offer us some few prayers. And I want you to join us as we pray together. Praise the scripture says in the book of Psalms 89 verse 1, the Bible says, I will sing of the mercy of the Lord forever. Hallelujah. With my mouth will I make known yes. his faithfulness yes. to all generations. all generations. I want you to leap off your verses and begin to appreciate God. Appreciate God for his mercy. Appreciate God for his faithfulness. The Lord has been merciful to us. We have enjoyed the faithfulness of God. His faithfulness is unto us. Let's bless his holy name. The Bible says, I will sing of the message of the Lord. I believe you can give God a song of praise. I believe you can sing praises to the Lord. Blessed be the name of the Lord Jehovah, who has been merciful unto us, who has been faithful all these months. Glory be to your name. Father, we thank you for the month of January. We thank you for your mercy for the month of February. We thank you for your faithfulness for the month of March. We thank you for the mercy and the faithfulness of, of thou, O oh God, in the month of April. Thank you for this month. We give you praise. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Beloved, this morning I want you to realize that the devil is not happy that you are happy in the presence of God. Yes. Where you are at home, in your room or in your sitting room, he's not happy that you are ready to connect with God. But we are going to pray. Job chapter 5 verse 12 says, He disappointed the yes. devices of the crafty yes. so that their hands cannot perform their enterprise. Yes. We are going to pray. Sir. Say, Father, Father every device of, of the devil against my fellowship with God this morning be destroyed in Jesus' name. Open your mouth and pray. Every device of darkness, every device of the devil against my fellowship with God, oh God, this morning I command it to be destroyed. Let let them be frustrated in the name of Jesus Christ. Let them be frustrated in the name of Jesus Christ. In Jesus' powerful name we are praying. Amen. I believe you know that we are just starting the new month. This is the first Sunday of the month of May. Yes. And the month of May has a lot to offer to us. Yes. God has opened doors yes. of breakthrough, of success Amen. that we are going to assess this yes. month. Yes. But let me tell you, Paul was writing in the book of 1 Corinthians chapter 16, verse 9. He said, for a great and effectual door is opened unto me, yes. but there are many adversaries. Amen. We are going to pray every adversary, every adversary. at the entrance door at the entrance of my blessing, of my blessing. This, month this month of May, scatter in Jesus' name. Open your mouth and begin to pray. Every adversary at the entrance door of my blessing in this month of May, let them scatter, let them scatter in the name of Jesus. Scatter in the name of Jesus. We destroy every adversary at the entrance gate of our blessing. In Jesus' name we pray. We are going to prophesy. Say, I prophesy. I prophesy. Every satanic door. Every satanic door. Open, for Open for me. This month of May. This month of May. Let them be shut up. Let them be shut in the name of Jesus. Name Say it again. I prophesy. I prophesy. Every door Every the devil has opened devil has to me and my family. This month of May. Be shut up in Jesus' name. Open your mouth and begin to pray. 
I prophesy that every satanic door that has been open for me, open for my children, open for my wife, open for my family, shut them up, O oh Lord. Let them be shut up. I command them to shut up. I command them to be shut up. In the name of Jesus Christ, every satanic door be shut up in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. We are going to pray for grace. Yes. The Bible said, Noah found grace yes. in the sight of God. Yes. And because of that grace, he was able to assess the, co- the, 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 the Ark of Covenant. We want to pray. Father, Father I, receive grace I receive grace to assess, to assess all my blessings blessing this, this month in the name of Jesus. Name Go of ahead Jesus. and pray. Father, I receive grace, grace to assess, grace to assess, to assess that very blessing you have reserved for me. You have reserved my family this month of faith. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, O Lord. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Finally, I want us to pray for our Father in the Lord. Hebrews chapter 1, verse 7 says, And unto angel he said, He maketh his angel spirits and his minister flame of fire. We want to pray this morning. O Lord. O Lord. Say it again. O Lord. O Lord. Make your servant flame of fire this morning. And dispatch your angels to minister to my needs. Open your mouth and pray. Make your servant a flame of fire. Make your minister flame of fire. And let your angel be ministry spirit to dispatch your blessings to me this morning. In the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Our Father, we thank you. Thank you, Lord. Because again, we are here to be blessed. Yes. I pray your blessing will reach out to everyone in their various homes this morning in the name of Jesus. Amen. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Go ahead, put your hands together for Jesus Amen. as we welcome our sisters Amen. who will be leading us in the song of praise. Yes. Put your hands together. I hope you are putting your hands together. God bless you. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the living Jesus. Hallelujah. Let's be in the mood of worship. Let's begin to magnify the name of the Lord. Yes. For his Hallelujah. good and his mercy and joy forever. Let's thank you for giving us the privilege to enter into a new month. There is none like you, Jesus. Lord, we exalt you. Blessed be your holy name, O oh God. Be magnified, O oh Lord.
Him is worship. Amen. Praise the Lord, oh my soul. This is the day He has made. Hallelujah, hallelujah. 
us in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. So between the church and 2020, my year of rising sun. Yes. One, two, go. It's my year of rising sun. It's my year of coming out brave. Children of the 
from that story of praise. You, Can you say, thank you, Daddy? Thank you. Didn't you know that God is your eternal Daddy? is the Father of thank Spirits. You, say thank you to God thank you, for God. keeping you together. Uh, your geography is cooperating with your history. Your chemistry is aligning with your, 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 your economy. Everything is working well. Can you say to God, thank you, sir, for the way you have helped me. It's a grand new song. A grand new song on your matter. Grand new song. Give him praise. Give him thanks. Give him adoration. The Lord will accept it. Yes. We are two or three are gathered together in his name. He said he is there. To, to accept them the way they are. Thank you. In Jesus. Mighty name. We have prayed. Amen. Because of what we have. So, here today, 
we have some specific relevant prayer point we will need to work on as we get into the service. And I know the Lord is going to answer it because today I'll be talking on um, caregiver in crisis time. Caregiver in crisis time. Now I want to read from 1 Samuel chapter 9 from verse 15. 1 Samuel 9, 15 now. The Lord had told Samuel in his ear, a day before Saul came, saying, tomorrow, about this time, I will send thee a man, a caregiver, out of the land of Benjamin, and thou shalt anoint him to be captain over my people Israel, that he may save my people out of the hand of the Philistines. For I have looked upon my people, because their cry is come unto me. And when Samuel saw Saul, the Lord said unto him, Behold the man. Look, this is the man whom I spake to thee of. This same shall reign over my people. This shall reign over my people. You know what I want to say? You want to pray this morning that the Lord will allow the right caregiver to arrive at the right time. Amen. Every life has a caregiver. Yes. You are going to pray to God, help me Amen. and let my caregiver arrive at the right time. God looked ahead of time Amen. and he said, Samuel, I am going to send a caregiver, the one who will give care for you to ride up away from this oppression of, of the agent of the devil, the Philistines. And that was exactly what God did. Lord, I pray in the name of Jesus, let my caregiver arrive. Good time in the name of Jesus Christ. Can you open your mouth wherever you are? Help us of your life. The one who will care for you. The one who will hold you right. The one who will bless you right. In the name of Jesus, let me arrive. Appoint my caregiver wherever they may be, either from my tribe or from any other tribe. Lord, caregiver to my life. This Sunday morning, appoint for me my caregiver. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. You know, God spoke to Samuel. Samuel was a prophet. And he said, I'm going to send a help to my people. If there's any time anybody needs a help, it is this time. And so the Lord is saying, I'm going to send it. We are going to pray that every roadblock, every every road road on the path of my caregiver, on the path of my caregiver let them be rolled away. Let them be rolled Can away. you open your mouth and pray? Pray for your children. Pray for your business. Pray for your family. Pray for the church. Pray for the saints of God. Every roadblock on the path of my caregiver, the one you are packing to help me, remove roadblock from their pathway. This is how we pray with church. The Lord will answer your prayer in the name of the Lord. Thank you, Heavenly Father. Thank you, Heavenly God. The Lord is with you and is going to do things well. He's going to do things right. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' relevant name, we have prayed. Amen. Let me also show you another one. It was Samuel that God told that Saul is the caregiver. Samuel never pretended as he is the one. He, he recognized the voice of God and he did it. And Saul came. May your caregiver arrive at the right time. Amen. Can I hear a living amen to that? Amen. In 1 Kings chapter 18, reading from verse 41, is another story there. 1 Kings chapter 18, verse 41. And Elijah said unto Ahab, Get thee up, eat and drink, for there is a sound of abundance of rain. So Ahab went up to eat and to drink. 
In the name of Jesus, you will find something to eat. Amen. In the name of Jesus, you will not be dried up in famine. Amen. He says, and Elijah went up to the top of the camel, Mount Camel, and he cast himself down upon the earth, that is praying um, um, posture, and put his face between his knees, and said to his servant, go up now, and look towards the sea, and he went up and he looked, and he said, there is nothing. And he said, go again, seven times. And it came to pass, at the seventh time, that he said, behold, there is arised a little cloud. There arised a little cloud out of the sea, like a man's hand. And he said, go up, say unto Ahab, prepare your chariot, get thee down, that the rain stop thee not. And it came to pass, in the meanwhile, that the heavens was black with cloud and wind, and there was a great rain. And Ahab rode and went to Jezreel. That's another point of prayer for you. You are going to pray in the name of Jesus, name of Jesus. that your help will come in abundance. Will abundance. It will not just come in tickles. It will come in abundance. Can you open your mouth and pray for this new month? Let my help come in abundance. In the name of Jesus, whatever you call uh, 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 the, the type of dress you use, when you are going for celebration is different from the one you wear when you are going for your office. Yes, the wrapper that you use when you are sleeping is different from towel. One single monocided towel that you use in covering yourself. When you wrap yourself inside the wrapper, that's abundance. You won't come out from under of it until you wake up. So you are going to pray abundant help. In this month of May, let it locate me in the name of Jesus Christ. In Jesus' name we pray. You see there, it was Elijah who was a caregiver unto the nation of Israel. Elijah. It was not the government that appointed him. It was the government of God who says, Elijah, you are the one I am using. And Elijah took that responsibility. And those kings, they knew till today, every king that cooperates with the right prophet, their ways are always good. So you are going to pray in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, that my helper will not be careless. My helper will not because be careless. Because after he announced in upon that, he was not going to go and be playing Ludo. He went and he was praying. He took a painful posture. So can you pray in the name of Jesus? Lord, do not allow my helper to be careless. You will not be careless. To deliver your assignment, you will not be careless. You will not be distracted. In the name of Jesus, you will not be careless. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Another point from there was that the person who was nearer the man of God, that one was not sharing out of the vision. What that one was saying is, there is nothing. You only prophesy, nothing will happen. But the man of God was not distracted. You are going to pray that your helper will not be distracted. Oh God, do not allow my helper to be distracted. Either by those who are near or by those who are far. All element of distraction, remove them away from my helpers. In the name of Jesus Christ, Elijah would have been distracted by the statement of the one who was very close to him. But he said, no, I know what God told me. Lord, do not allow my helper to be distracted. God will answer the prayer. I hope you are not closing your mouth. Pray that your helper will not be distracted. Because your helper may be willing to help you. But distraction may not allow your helper to get to focus. Cover my helper, Lord. In the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Father. Glory be to the name of the Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. That is what is called the cause of automatic failure. Cause of what? Automatic Automatic failure. Some people, those who hate them, have placed it that at the beginning of each month, it must be automatic. Failure must run within the month. Some people, it's at the beginning of the day. Some people, it's at the beginning of the year. So you are going to command 
Whatever represents cause of automatic failure. Whatever, whatever represents cause, cause of, of automatic failure. You will not prompt up in my story. You will, story. Not, prompt up you will not come up in my family. You will not come up, up, my you will come up over my children. You will, come up, over my you will children. not come up over my ministry. You will not come up over, you will not come up over this nation. You will not come up over this Can nation. we begin to pray in the name of Jesus? Yeah. Let us banish the causes of automatic failure. You will not settle upon our lives. We bind you in the name of Jesus. We bind you with the blood of Jesus. We bind you with the authority of the word of God. You will not prompt up. In this month of May, cause of automatic failures. Over my children, I bind you. Over my wife, I bind you. Over my business, I bind you. In the name of Jesus, over my helpers. Can you pray for your helpers? Those who have been appointed of God to help you. That the cause of automatic failure we not wake up upon them. Thank you, Father. Glory be to God forever and ever. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. The last point we are going to pray before we get into the message proper this morning. There was a story of a man. This man, he survived about um, four days ago. It was there on the cable news and network. Now, he survived the World War II about 75 years ago. But when COVID-19 came, he, was, he didn't survive. <laughs> and somebody will say, one death will kill somebody, yes. But it must not be death that will bring reproach. So you are going to pray in the name of Jesus. Name of Every Jesus. trap that has been set on my way. Every trap that has been set on my way. I will escape all of them. I will escape all in the name of Jesus in Christ. Name of Jesus. Can we pray in the name of Jesus? Trap Whatever trap, trap that has been set on my way. It was that man. He succeeded. To, 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 he, he managed to escape. On the World War II. But he never escaped. On the, on the COVID-19 and that was how he died out so you are going to pray in the name of Jesus I will escape every every pitfall in my life and I will serve God better I will serve God sweeter I will serve God committedly in the name of Jesus Christ thank you Father glory be to the name of the Lord in Jesus Sweetest name we have prayed. Amen. Thank you, immortal God. Thank you, Lord. You are good because you said, My house shall be called the house of prayer. Yes. Meaning that the chunk of what to do in the house of God should be prayer. And so, in the name of the Lord, we have prayed today. God who answers prayer, please look in our direction Amen. and let there be answers. To each of these points of prayer for us in Jesus' name. Amen. Benefit our spirit man. Amen. Remove obstacles from our spirit man. Amen. Our physical man to also harvest blessing. Amen. Thank you, immortal God. Thank you, Lord. Glory be to the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. In Jesus' fantastic name, we have prayed. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I want to, once again, to say, Happy New Month. To each of my listeners today, in Jesus' name, Amen. this month will be a grand new song for you. Amen. You will find reasons to sing to the glory of eternal majesty. Amen. You know, this lockdown of a thing, if you calculate it very well, at least from this side of eternity, we know that it's a global lockdown. Although the story is beginning to change after a period of time, it's now lockdown, uh, um, easing, and then um, lockdown, post-lockdown, everybody is talking about what will happen after this and all of it. But in this side of um, the, 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 the world, in Nigeria to be specific, we have been given a free 888 hours to sit down at home. Calculate it, you will find me right. 888 hours. And within those 888 hours, you will have discovered that um, really too many things has gone. During this period of time, some people have busted into revelations of different makes. Some people have busted themselves into all manner of um, experiences and exposure. What is key is for you 
to get what is the message for you. Most of our WhatsApp our brothers and sisters have confused some people, they have encouraged some people, they have distracted some people, some people within those hours, they cannot really be able to pinpoint anything symbolic that they have been able to do, but I believe that it is never too late. Any moment from now, the ease of um, the lockdown will begin on a gradual process. And that is why it's very important for us to listen to what God has to say as we step out from the lockdown series that took place in all the nations of the world under the title Caregiver in Crisis Time. Caregiver in Crisis what? Time. Now, permit me to read from Psalm 20 from verse 1 through to verse 3. He says, The Lord hear thee in the day of trouble. Amen. The name of God of Jacob defend thee. Amen. Send thee help from the sanctuary Amen. and strengthen thee out of Zion. Amen. Am I hearing the life? Amen to that? Amen. He said, Remember all your offerings. Amen. The offerings you gave by giving your time, your talent, your money, your resources. He says, may the Lord remember all of them. Amen. And accept your bond sacrifice. Amen. Are you saying amen to that? Amen. Caregivers in crisis time. There are troubling times in the world. Of course, this season we find ourselves... It's a time of epidemic or pandemic. I think it's pandemic now. We have known epidemic before. Now it has graduated to pandemic. But in the midst of either epidemic or pandemic, you will not be sacrificed for it. Amen. Are you saying amen to that? Amen. No, sometimes it comes so suddenly. And the one who is trapped within it, it will the victim. It will look to them like a dream. Is it for real? I remember when the news started coming in uh, about this uh, COVID-19 of all things. You know, it was not so clear. We are looking at it from different angles and all, but the reality became done when the, the slash of governmental regulation came to our benefit, saying nobody must go out. Isolation, and then we must also need to be locked down so that we'll be moved away from what will contaminate us and all of it. And now, it is the story of you must wash your hand with soap so that you will not be contaminated. And then, the newest and the latest instruction from this side of eternity now is that you must now need to cover your mouth. Cover, use your uh, face, mask. The, 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 no, face mask. And then you are going to do like that. And then whatever you are talking, in fact, is now... A, 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 an offense against the law for you to go on the street of Lagos, of Nigeria without you having a face mask the, the government officers they are going to arrest the person and prosecute the person so as we are going on perhaps from tomorrow you must learn to remember that and then uh, either the one you make out of your own or the one that has been officially made whichever one I understand that they are sharing some somewhere around but if you are not having an access to it uh, ignorance is not an excuse in the law court. You must be sure you go out from tomorrow with your face mask. And of course, you know that it is not the only one you are going to use throughout the whole week, yo, or three months, uh, whatever. As soon as you finish using it, you dispose it and you use another one. So it is very important we keep to this regulation. It is for our benefit. May the Lord bless us more in Jesus' name. Amen. The psalmist prayer for all the caregiver is what was recorded here. He says, God will hear you. Amen. Are you saying amen to that? Amen. God will defend you amen. against your enemies. Amen. God will help you when you get to the crossroad of your life. Amen. God will strengthen you to accomplish 
your dreams amen. and your goals. Amen. Am I hearing a life? Amen to that. Amen. Enemy will not triumph over you. Amen. Say a life. Amen, amen. to that effect. Amen. That was the prayer that was meant for caregivers. I know this time around, too many plannings, too many strategies, too many envisioning, too many scenario planning are coming up from the governmental department, from family front, from business side, everybody is planning. But what is important, we must also need to know issues of caregiving is core and it is key. Now, permit me to see a scenario, a scenario of what brought about that in Luke's Gospel, chapter 10. Luke, chapter 10, the readings will be from verse 30. Luke 10, 30, it says, And Jesus answering said, A certain man went down from Jerusalem to Jericho, fell among thieves, and was striped him of his raiment, and wounded him, and departed, leaving him half dead. I give you time to read through to verse 37. But let me just summarize what was there to save time. This man, when he was planning, it was a case study of on the highway of life for an entrepreneur person, for an industrialist, or government representative, or a retiree who has a plan to also do something. Maybe the husband at home, maybe the wife at home, but such person had a plan. Let me journey from here to here. And um, the man was, um, I call him, he was a true and not a fake victim. True victim and not a fake what? Victim. So, I can there be a fake victim? Of course, yes. This is a world you must look closely before you enter. There was a story that happened years ago. And um, there was a man in a particular compound where a lot of people live, and he was a troublesome man. And then this man suddenly, after he made the trouble, he left home. Now he was um, traveling from his place, he was to pass through Oshogi. So he now went through the public transport of Oshogi. By the time he was inside the vehicle, he has already wrote a particular um, placard, Death and Dumb. So, Death and Dumb inside the public transport. Now, there was the person whom he quarreled with was also inside that motor. He didn't know the person was there, but he suddenly discovered that this man is now becoming Death and Dumb. So, he was asking for money at the center of the, the, the bus. And so, by the time he was ask, asking for the money, and he put the thing there, there and done. Suddenly, the man he quarreled with, before he left home, saw him say, ah, I will disgrace this man today. How did he become deaf and dumb? He created trouble before he left. Okay, I will see how you are going to. So, as soon as he came near, I said, ah, he now called the name, said, ah, ah, what time did you become deaf and dumb? You who quarreled with me. God exposed you. As soon as he sees that the secret was, the man jumped out of the vehicle and he ran away. It means that he was a fake victim. A fake what? And there are so many fake victims that can come across your way, but I pray in the name of Jesus, they will never get you. Amen. Fake should not make you to run away from your assignment of caregiving. Now, this man was there. Of course, there are three uh, uh, things you must not forget. These three things you must not forget. Number one, the, the number one is that people who lead you into trouble, don't forget them. People who left you when you are in trouble, don't forget them. And people who, who lived with you until you are out of your problem, do not forget them. Now understand this. Who are caregivers? Caregivers are the people who carry the nature of God. They carry the nature of God, number one. They are the light of the world. They are the salt of the earth. And then, in fact, these people, they are the people whose presence or absence will easily be noticeable because these people are ready to help. 
any time in all situation and their good time is when there's a crisis time of course you must not forget they are the good samaritan in the story i've left you to read with was the story you find it there there were three categories of uh, prospective caregivers that were, that came across the way of the man who was in victim a victim of bad situation three categories the first two didn't do anything the last one did something but before i come briefly before we conclude the two people who never do anything i want to warn everyone to be careful of criticizing people without having detail to the details of whatever that person is doing for instance you may not know the exposure of those people the, the pre previous experience they already have with such things we may not be aware of what arrangement they are making underneath to be able to rescue the man that maybe they said let us go and then link up with those who can be able to help the person for instance if you are going to help somebody who is drowning and you see the person drowning and you don't know how to swim out of sheer compassion you also jump inside the river of course if two of them eventually are brought before the court, the court uh, for judgment the last person is going to be thrown into the jail what we are saying in effect is that whoever god sent you to reach out to the person within the capacity that god has given unto you the time in which we are there's going to be a lot of tragic begging a lot of people will come this way come that way and the caregivers must be careful and that's why you must need to know that whatever god wants you to do you must do it now it may be the slowness of those first two that didn't allow them to win the jackpot they are too slow in the arrangement nobody knows but this good samaritan he was smart he was he was his, his, his address uh, addressing the situation was quick he didn't allow the man to die before looking for solution. Therefore, today, every caregiver that is listening to me, if that is your ministry, those who are, who are in that ministry, they will give even when they don't have. This time around, channel your giving, your caregiving, unto people with wisdom. Channel your help unto people. Because some people will use this one as a ministry of begging. They will mark this person, collect from this, Collect from that, collect from this, and that's exactly what the new business of some people will be. You who is training yourself to reach out to them, you may not even have as much as they do. Therefore, caregivers, in crisis time, you must do that in wisdom. You must do that in commitment. You must allow God to lead you. When God leads you, you will be able to do things well. And another point I want to bring your attention onto this time is that whatever it is you are doing as a caregiver, either a governmental caregiver or non-governmental caregiver or a private caregiver, you must do that and ensure that you do that with care. For instance, there was a story of a doctor who acted great in the early days of Ebola outbreak. Now that person stood for others because whoever brought in the Ebola into the country that time, ready to infect other people. But she decided to stay and she died for the rest of others. And that was how that was limited because that caregiver did it at the risk of her life. A doctor did that. In the name of the Lord of hosts, help you are going to render and we make your memory to perish, you will not render that help. Amen. But help, like Jesus did, that even though things were whatever, he died for the sin of humanity. Till today, we still remember Jesus for that. And so, watch out and understand. There are a lot of people in the WHO, World Health Organization, who have been infected, when they are trying to care for people, some of them, they, they, they are just them. Um, quickly dragging themselves into it and before you know what is going on about 40 according to the record of um, the media houses were infected i pray in the name of jesus 
those who are infected may the Lord heal them. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. All I'm trying to say today is that either you can give through your financial or your professional or whatever I call spiritual caregiving. It must be done in love. It must be done to time. It must be done with care. That whatever it is you do, do that with care and God will back you up in Jesus' name. Amen. There was a time that um, in 2 Kings chapter 6, from verse 25 through to verse 29, 2 Kings chapter 6, verse 25 to 29, what happened? There was a, a, a serious crisis there. And the woman was looking at the king, saying, King, help me. And the king looked at him and said, Nobody can help you if God is not helping you. God is the ultimate caregiver. Whoever that is coming physically, God is sending that person to you. Don't make it a habit that you have never helped me. You have been helping other people. You have not helped me. You must learn to go according to the way of God. Go according to the way of who? God. God only is the source of true help. I will lift up my eyes onto the hills from when cometh my help. My help cometh from the Lord and maketh the heavens and the earth. Help will come. When you link up with God, God will tell somebody to rise up and help you. Don't disturb people. Hey, you have not helped me. I had that to help somebody. Caregivers, you must give it according to the measure of what you have. Caregivers, you must give it in wisdom. Because there's one of the songs that says, uh, I think it's, uh, they said, uh, power money no ore. Meaning that deliver us from the problem that doing good brings. Sometimes when you are giving, some people have the imagination. You have more than enough. That's why you are giving. Some people don't give. No matter whatever happens, this time around, let us all enter into the ministry of care. Let's care for one another, either locally or internationally. Wherever you are, God will be with you. Am I hearing amen to that? Amen. God will be for you. Amen. And when that good Samaritan acted right, Jesus said, go and do likewise. Go and do what? Likewise. likewise. As you go out from tomorrow. Learn to help somebody out of their crisis situation. God will not leave you alone. As you help people, people will help you. He said, blessed are the merciful. For they shall receive what? Mercy. mercy. Be merciful to some, some people. You will never hear shake from them. Every day, they will always ask. They will always, and whenever they give to them, they will never give anything back to anybody. Let us give in wisdom. Let us have the heart of giving. Let us do that in care. Let us do that in wisdom. God Almighty will also help you. Amen. If you help people in the name of the Lord, heaven also will help you. Amen. Jesus gave this parable and he says, go and do likewise. Because good Samaritan was good because he was smart. He was timely. He was active. He was happy. He was ready. Madam, be ready. Sir, be ready. Let's help one another. Out of this tragic situation we have found ourselves, may the Lord continue to be answers to our prayers in Jesus' name. Amen. Shall we rise up on our feet? And our prayers, we are going to pray. That in the name of the Lord of hosts, you are going to pray that all your effort to become somebody in life will not be crushed down Amen. in the name of Jesus. Because that man in the story of Jesus, he was making an effort to be somebody, but he was crushed down. So not all my effort all my to name. become somebody in life, because somebody of note, Lord, help me never to crash on the way. Can you pray in the name of Jesus? The, the Lord Almighty is all going to do effort to become somebody in life will not go God in evil. Are we praying in the name of Jesus? God Almighty will help us. The hand of the Lord will never forsake us. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name, we pray. Are we saying amen to that? You are going to pray that all your, 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 your promotion, all your benefit, that darkness has stolen of has robbed you. That let them return back to you. Amen. Because they robbed this man that Jesus gave. As a parable, they rob him. Many of us who have been robbed on the, on the street of life. In the name of Jesus, Amen. every
every robber that have robbed me of my journey of life, I command whatever you have taken from me, return back to me in the name of Jesus. Lord, return it back to me in the name of Jesus. Be sure you are praying. The Lord will answer in the name of Jesus. God will answer. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Son. In Jesus' name, we pray. You are going to pray that all your effort over your children will, will not come to, to, to shame. All your effort over your family will not come to disgrace. In the name of Jesus. Can you open your mouth and pray in the name of Jesus? That all your effort over your family, over your children, over your ministry, over this nation, it will not come to shame. Can you open your mouth? It was a caregiver that stepped into the matter. Oh God, let not my effort come to shame. Thank you, Father. Glory be to the name of the Lord. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. I know some people are born at the month of May. I hereby pray from this place in the name of the Lord, may your month be blessed. Amen. Your days and your month and your week and your and your year is blessed. Amen. In the name of Jesus is blessed. Amen. Am I hearing a living amen to that? Amen. And from now, your month will speak mercy unto you. Amen. 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 You're also going to pray that all the thieves. That are waiting on the road of my life. That are waiting on the road of my life. You will not succeed you over will not succeed. Can you open your mouth and pray? That the man in the story. The there are all the thieves waiting to rob me of my business transaction. Waiting to rob my family. Waiting to rob this nation. The Lord will be you. All the thieves. All the thieves waiting to rob me. You will not succeed. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. And you are also going to pray that your caregiver will not make mistake. Because this man who was caring, when he introduced him, he introduced him to another caregiver in the hospital. If that person used to run medication for him, by the time that man come back, he's coming to come and pay for his dead body. So God, do not allow my caregiver to make mistake. Those who are, you are sending to me, don't allow them to make mistake. Can you open your mouth and pray in the name of Jesus? Caregivers in my family. Caregiver over my business. Let them never make mistake. Can you pray in the name of Jesus? Maja ki ashishe. Go ba awan ton ton du aye me. Maja ka mi ashishe wano aya awan. Thank you, Father. Glory to God. In Jesus' fantastic name, we have prayed. Amen. We meet again on Wednesday, the Lord tarries from 7 to 8 in the morning. Let me pray finally, after which you can continue the prayer in your homes, wherever you are. But let me conclude this prayer immediately. Don't also forget, on Friday, God willing, between the hour of 6 and 6.30, Bible study like no other is waiting for us. Glory be to the name of the Lord. Amen. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, Amen. can we live, if you are benefit? You're out of this program and you believe God will reach out to you and you are the owner of your hand. Can you lift your hand up to heaven? Father, in the name of Jesus, Amen. I pray for all my audience at home and abroad, wherever you are hearing me from, in the name of Jesus Christ, as a helper, a caregiver sent to you, God Almighty will bless you. Amen. Your helpers will arrive at the right time. Amen. In the name of Jesus for the right reason. Amen. Benefactor that will not push you into a deeper problem. The Lord will send them across your way this month. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Glory be to the name of the Lord. Amen. The Lord bless you. Amen. Bless your home. Amen. Bless your body. Amen. Can you lay your hand upon your body? Be healed in Jesus' name. Amen. Spiritually, Amen. socially, Amen. financially, Amen. bodily, Amen. in the name of Jesus, Amen. be healed. Amen. And you will do well. Amen. In this new month. Amen. Thank you, Heavenly Father. Thank you. In Jesus' glowing name, we have prayed. Amen. And amen. amen. Shall we put our hands together to say glory to God forever? Amen.
Amen. God bless you. Thank you. See you again. Love you in Jesus' name. Amen.